Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go through and show you how you would have graphed this correctly. Um, some of you um, just forgot a little bit of information. Some of you had a little bit more trouble with it, but hey, that's okay because I asked you to do it without looking up or refreshing at all. And let's face it, it's been a little while since you had to make a graph, right? So it's all good. We're kind of like all starting in the same place. When you go through to make a graph, the graph has to have certain components. Every graph will have certain components. Okay, so we need to make um, a title, obviously, um, or maybe not obviously, because some of you forgot it, so that's all right. Um, need to have a title, need to label both the X and Y axes, as well as not just label them for what they stand for, but making sure to put units in. Um, determine the scales that you're going to use for both the X and the Y axes and then go ahead and plot the data. Okay, so in order to label the X and the Y axes, what you have to do is you have to know which variable goes on which axes, right? So we're going to do a line graph here and as you will recall from the Nearpod, we use the line graph when we show that the data is connected to each other, that what you um, what you have recorded in a data table, that they are related. So here we have data, which is the number of data, number of days, and then we also have this data, which is the number of bacteria. So the whole scenario here was that someone made these little petri dishes and they put um, different like they had several and they had a control and that was this known population bacteria A but then they also had this bacteria B and after a certain number of days they'd go and count how many bacteria colonies were present. So the data that you are recording okay the the one that you go and you look for the results like here, the counting of the bacteria, that is going to be your dependent variable. What you record is your dependent variable and your dependent variable always will go on the y-axis. Okay, so when we have a graph, this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis. So I just saw this little video on YouTube, as silly as it was, he used this phrase that I had, I've never heard of this, but I like it. So if you can remember, to help you remember which one goes on which axis, dry mix, like the cake mix is a dry mix, right? A dry mix. And the way this is, um, Oh, a mnemonic device to help you remember which is which, these letters all stand for something. So the dry, already writing it wrong, the dry stands for the dependent variable is what we will record Okay, another way is what we measure, but that that little M doesn't fit in for this very well, right? What would that be? DMI, DMI, and then of course this is the y-axis. So what we measure or really what we record is the dependent variable and it always goes on the y-axis. And then mix. Okay, obviously X is standing for the x-axis. Uh, the I is the independent variable. And the M stands for what you are manipulating or what you are changing, what you are allowing to happen here. Well, I'll talk about that in a second.
Okay, so in order for us to be able to do our labeling, we have to know what is our dependent and our independent variable. So here, what we are recording, what we are counting, what we are measuring is the number of bacteria. So we've got the 2, 8, the 32, the 56, 60, right? This is what we are recording. That makes this our, our dependent variable and it goes on the y-axis. Now you might be like, I don't understand how you're manipulating time. You can't stop time. You can't manipulate time. Except we're allowing these things to grow for so many days. So we could we could stop the number of days anywhere where we want to. So we could have allowed this experiment to go on 20 days or 30 days, right? So while you, you know, t time in itself is not something that you can alter, right? You can alter the number of days that you allow an experiment to go on. So in that sense, this is the data, or I'm sorry, this is the variable that you are manipulating. So this is our date, this is our our independent variable, which goes on the x-axis. Okay? All right, so we're going to need a title. We're actually going to come back to that. We're going to label and add our units. We're going to determine our scale, and we're going to plot our data.